Välkommen till Hydraulic Press Channel. Today we are going to do a science video with our pressure chamber. The idea is to demonstrate and test the reactions, decompression sickness or the pains or, or driver's disease. And we are going to accomplish that by filling this with nitrogen. Usually we fill this with water and use the water pressure to crush items. But today we are going to use nitrogen. And we are going to have some test subjects in there. On the first test, we have a piece of meat and a glass of water. And the idea is to go down to 500 meters or 50 bars in pressure. And like this many story building in freedom units. And wait a couple hours. And during that couple hours, the nitrogen from the chamber is going to dissolve into water on the water and on the meat. There is water in the water, that's why it's wet. And then after the really brave dive, we are going to go up to the surface in like 30 seconds and see from the window what the test subjects like the dive profile. And if you would do that in real life, you would be dead. If you would do like 50 meters, four hours and come straight surface, you would be dead. So you would be 10 times dead with this dive profile. And quite often when people talk about like decompression sickness, they say that it's the same thing as when opening soda bottle, but it's not the same or it's the same reaction but the amount of the reaction isn't the same because CO2 is 100 times more soluble in water than nitrogen. So if you go like 50 meters and come up, your blood doesn't really boil, but it doesn't need to boil for you to be dead. Even like tiny, tiny pop bubble is going to make you very dead if it goes into the wrong place. But what happens when you go 500 meters? Is it then going to boil? That's the question. And as a backup, if the nitrogen isn't like reactive enough on the first test, then we are going to switch to carbon dioxide on the second test and throw watermelon in for four days and it's going to explode. Yeah. So first some science and then a bit less science. Okay, everything is ready. We have light here. Test subject here and camera here. And now I just open the gas bottle and the gas flows through the hose into the cylinder and I have pressure meter here. And this is quite much more dangerous filling this with gas because it's compressible. So it stores energy. There's quite much energy here when it's 50 bars with gas. But luckily we are operating only one sixth of the normal pressure. Usually we go to 300 bars. So there is a huge safety margin today. So it doesn't matter that we have much more energy. We have like probably like 20 times the safety margin. I'm pretty sure that this can take 500 bars. So we are totally safe. But uh, don't try this at home. This is quite a complicated thing to set up. And if you miss something, then it can be like deadly. For example, it's not a good idea to just use air compressor and pressurize this with air because then we have so much oxygen here that something like rubber seals or something can catch on fire and the whole thing can explode. But we are running nitrogen so it's completely safe also in that, that aspect. And now I just uh, open this. Okay, now it starts to raise. I'm not totally sure do we have enough here. Yeah, 50 bars. Oh, what happened? There is a lot of mist. I think it's just uh, something to relate with the pressurizing the system. I assume that it goes away when we just paid for a little bit. But I think nothing, nothing leaks, so that's nice. Yeah, let's wait like three hours. Okay, it has been like 
three or four hours. And something, <laughs> something really weird is going on inside the chamber. The uh, air is like, how you would describe? It's like shimmering. Yeah, shimmering. shimmering. I think we have hit some kind of triple point for some gas. I think carbon dioxide triple point is quite close. So something is like a bit like liquid and a bit like gas. Or then it's just super, super moist there. I have no idea. We had to blast with the light, with the full power through that window to like dry it out. Now we have good visibility. And don't worry, the windows can handle like 300 degrees Celsius, so their the like system is okay with the heat. It doesn't affect it. But something weird is going on. But nevertheless, we are ready to see what happens for the water. So I'm going to close this so no more gas is going to go in. Then I slowly release the pressure from the system and I can monitor the pressure and the view inside while doing that. It's uh, not optimal to release pressure slowly with a ball wolf. <laughs> it's like one off. <laughs> but uh, I try to like, uh, I take this uh, precise pressure instrument and like tap, tap this like this. I don't want to go too fast or the air gets really cool and the uh, moisture condensates really badly and we lose all the visibility. I think that's good speed. I open the door so we don't lose oxygen from the room. Okay, that's the water. Hey, there is, there is some air bubbles. Yeah, but like very, very, very small amount of air bubbles. There is like three bubbles. So if those would be inside the watermelon, I think the watermelon would be like okay. Like very, very, so very I think if we want to export the melon, we have to use the like carbon dioxide three bubbles. for the like proper test. But uh, let's pop this open and let's see, does, did the meat have any problems? Uh, looks no completely normal. 
I think we have to cut it open and see like what's the situation. Is there like air bubbles inside? I think I think they're so so small that you cannot really see them. And also like with like that clump of meat and human being, there is a difference that people usually breathe. So the gas goes through the lungs, that's the like function of the lungs. And through the food stream. So it's uh, easier to like get gas inside on like living things than dead piece of meat. Yeah, I don't see anything going on with the meat. And it was behind the uh, water glass, so I think you cannot even see, like, I just wanted to try if something like really weird happens, like, swallows up or something, but clearly not. Even with 500 meters, this would be a really extreme dive. But uh, I think we are going to now do, like, safety and other planning for the carbon dioxide. I think I'm going to use dry ice, and uh, then the watermelon goes in with that to get, like, explosive results because that's like popping the soda bottle open then and i have to admit that i had probably a bit too high hopes for the reaction uh, because it's so much harder to get nitrogen into the water than carbon dioxide as i said that it's nothing like soda bottle even with these crazy high pressures but here is the uh, water glass after 15 minutes of opening the chamber. So there is clearly some bubbles and I think those are enough to kill you. So I think it's like, uh, it, this is a result. It's not the explosive, <laughs> explosive result that I hoped. But uh, we are going to do the uh, watermelon thing. We filmed this one quite, quite long ago, but I was so disappointed that I just forget the project. But uh, we are going to get the watermelon now. Watermelon now. We are going to get the watermelon done now. Maybe next week. And I think with that we are going to get explosive result with using that carbon dioxide. So subscribe to the channel to see that. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.